California is definitely the capital of the United States with respect to environmental sensitivity. WETA has to abide by not only environmental protection agency rules, we're also subject to the California Air Resources Board, which imposes even stricter air emissions requirements on us. We do have two distinct markets. Uh, one is uh, tourists, but our biggest market is uh, commuters. One of the most important things for our customers is that they can depend on the boat operating every day. When they show up for work, they expect the boat to be there and to be operational. MTU provides the most reliable package. I feel very strongly about that. We have an expectation of, uh, of the engines and the performance, and, and MTU has always met that expectation. WTA is a network of ferry routes and terminals around San Francisco Bay. Traffic's on and we are approaching Maryland 1 and 2. WTA currently has a fleet of 13 fast ferries. 11 of those have MTU power. WTA is currently carrying 2.7 million people per year. Uh, that's up 80% since the start of the economic recovery. By 2035, we expect our travel ridership to increase on the order of 800 to 900%. Let's have uh, Stevie get off on the main deck this time. Okay. Working for Golden Gate Ferry, it's a passenger only ferry company. We operate from quarter of six in the morning until nine o'clock at night. So in the past 10 years, we've gone from carrying 1.7 million up to about 2.6, 2.7 million passengers. We've repowered all the vessels with MTU engines. San Francisco Bay, there's a lot going on. They are super strict about emissions, try and keep this bay as clean as possible. There's a lot of people that use it, so it's nice to have MTU engines that are at the forefront of low emissions. What we will do is we'll provide a lift pump to you because this whole system is integral. Does this system reduce the horsepower per engine? No, it doesn't. There's an ongoing relationship between Golden Gate Ferry and MTU to try and maintain the highest standards and deal with our air quality issues. We now have a solution in the pipeline that's going to deliver Tier 4 engines to us and to meet the goal that CARB set out to have cleaner engines, lower emissions, and to be even better than the EPA Tier 4 standards. As we've gone to these higher emissions regulations, I haven't seen more downtime or more heavy maintenance required of the engines. They've maintained their performance record, even with uh, the additional emissions restrictions as they've been coming up. In fact, every time we put a new set of engines in, the boats seem to be going faster and faster, even though the emissions are getting better and better and the fuel economy is also getting better. Since 1997, we have never had to remove an engine early before its time between overall interval has come due. Hey guys, uh, just got off the phone with operations. Uh, we have the Intinley offline tomorrow, so I was hoping to catch up on some of the maintenance we need to do. With the 4,000 series engines, we were quoted a 15,000 hour time between overhauls. During that time period, MTU was proactive. We pulled cylinder kits had them inspected at the factory. And in our real operational condition was able to take a 15,000 hour time between overhaul to 21,000 hours. Going from 15,000 hours to 21,000 hours represents a huge savings to us in both money, time, and effort, and really allows us to best serve our customers. This is uh, showing the cooling system, and it shows your uh, temperatures and your pressures. With MTU, we're getting more than just main propulsion power. We're getting a shipwide system, computer base that controls everything from fans to pumps to tanks, alarms, the generator plant, and the batteries. It just gives us so much information at our fingertips because it's all touch screens. You can do everything except order french fries with this thing. Diagnoses is half of any repair. And if your machinery is telling you where the problem is, you're already 50% there. And it's a great value. So I'm, I'm happy with it, I like it. And for us, it's very important because we're traveling at high rates of speed and you can't just stop the boat, find out what's going on. You've got commuters on board and you don't want to disrupt the service. It's like having an engineer basically on board the vessel. Durability and ruggedness are key components for us. We're seeing 99.5% reliability, and the engines are the heart of that. If the engines aren't working, if those engine systems aren't working, 
the boat doesn't go. And so the 99.5% is something that our customers have become accustomed to and what, it's what they deserve. Yeah, what can I say? I've been running the ferry here for 24 years with MTUs, half a million miles or more, and I've never had a glitch or major issue with any of the main engine. It's almost like a family relationship. Everybody understands what we do here, and everybody at MTU is here to make sure that we can do what we need to do. With our new vessels and our new Tier 4 engines, we know we've got a great package in place with MTU. They understand our needs. We understand what they can deliver and we're looking forward to many years of great reliability and great service as these Tier 4 engines serve our needs over the next four or five years.